Hey guys, this is Jay Crater, and uh, today's video is called uh, Uber and Lyft Drivers, Which is Best for You? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I signed up for Uber. That was the first uh, program I, I had heard about, and I signed up for them. And I quickly found out that because I signed up after November 4th, uh, the amount of pay that I had to pay Uber was 25%, whereas for anybody before November 4th was 20%. And I thought, that's, that sucks. <laughs> so I, I even petitioned Uber and I said I was hospitalized. I, I wasn't able to sign up until now because I was really in the hospital with a surgery and all this. And they just said no. They were just dispassionate and said kind of, that's it. That's the law. That's it. So... Uber doesn't seem to have much concern for the driver, I will say that. So that got me looking at Lyft. With Lyft, I only pay 20%, so I can make more money with Lyft. Um, the other benefit of Lyft is that um, it makes it very easy for the, the client, the passenger, to tip. So in the app, they can actually tip you, and I've learned that I get quite a few tips. So that adds a lot more money. So I get paid more with Lyft, so that's a huge benefit of, of Lyft. The big advantage with Uber is it's a much more popular platform, so that you're going to get more clients um, from Uber, and that's that's the reason why if you have to pick one, uh, go go with Uber, because you're going to get more pings, you're going to get more clients, you're going to have less wait time, so that's that's the main uh, benefit of of Uber. The other benefit of Lyft is that you are going to have a mentor, so that's somebody that you can contact uh, if you have questions, uh, particularly about Lyft. Um, but overall, my recommendation is if it, you're in a market where you have both, go with both. Why, why limit yourself? So what I do is I drive. I've got both apps open. Uh, which one pings first? Usually it's, it's Uber. About two out of three times it's, it's Uber. Um, and I take it. I turn, off, I turn off the Lyft app and I go do my, my Uber drive. And then I turn, Uber, and then I turn uh, Lyft back on when I'm done. And I've got them both open again. And then, uh, then, then I may get a Lyft customer. And that's a yay because I know with Lyft, I'm actually going to make uh, more money for that particular, uh, that particular fare. Lyft also has some bonuses uh, available, although they very, seem very, very hard to reach. Very, very hard to reach. They're based on number of trips in given times. They've got what are called peak times and, uh, and then regular times. And I just don't know that there's enough uh, demand. Uh, I can get, actually get enough pings to, to reach those goals. So um, you got you got to ex experiment, and and I would recommend doing both. Don't limit yourself. Go for both. If you have to make a choice, uh, uh, go with Uber because you're going to get more business that way. And even though you may get paid less, <clears throat> overall you're going to make more money. So that's my uh, Uber versus Lyft. Which one is best for you? Uh, I hope that helps. If you're just getting started, um, I've got both of my referral codes down listed below. Um, I've also got a link to my webpage where I've got about 15 videos all about Lyft and, and, and Uber and different tips and techniques and strategies, how to maximize the amount of money that you can make, uh, things like that. So feel free to check it out. And uh, if you do sign up with me, um, I use my referral code. I'm totally available to you if you want to um, contact me to ask questions. Uh, I want to make this a great experience for myself. And, and if we can build a community, um, that, that's great. So it's a wonderful experience for, for all of us. So I believe in short videos, no more than four minutes. So I'm going to check off right now. You have a great day out there and I'll see you on the road. Bye-bye.